when I was 22 years old. I had a very nasty car accident. It changed my life considerably. I've been gardening more or less all of my life. It's helped me learn how to mix with people again. Head for Health is a mental wellbeing programme for adults over the age of 18 um, and it's been running for just over five years now and consists of a mixture of workshops, physical activity and then sustained sessions such as walk and talk, um, football and allotment sessions across the week as well. Allotment's been running for just over a year now. We know how being outdoors and being active is good for our mental health so whether that's obviously digging, sweeping, raking um, but also that education piece as well and learning new skills and knowledge of how different foods grow, how can you potentially then grow your own at home as well. All started uh, coming on the Head for Health course after we'd been going to meetings, we discussed about something we could do. Um, so we came up with the idea of having an allotment. John's a bit more of our organiser, he's our, he's our knowledge for our growing. He's uh, been through a few things and you just see when we're walking out, we're talking and he's smiling and laughing and joking. It just gives him that extra lift for the day. From my perspective, it's just nice to give something back after what they did for me or originally. We call it full circle. We've got participants here who've really come out of their shell. It really does make a difference to their lives. And then for me especially, to give them that end goal, to be able to produce some food that somebody's going to be eating within three to four months is brilliant for them. It really gives them that result at the end of the project. When I was 22 years old, I had a very nasty car accident. It changed my life considerably. I wasn't able to talk, walk, eat or drink because of the injuries. I lost all my friends. Lost my income, so I got to regain everything, start all over again. Jonathan felt a little bit restricted in his day-to-day -day life, but when he comes down here, he's just one of the boys, he's one of the people, and he gets involved, he gets stuck in. It gives him that little lifeline where he's out of the house for four to five hours a week. He's with what now he considers his friends and his colleagues, and he's producing something with an end goal. It's helped me incredibly. I've been gardening more or less all of my life. It's how we learn how to mix with people again. Having the One Pack One Planet fixture um, on the Man United game, we wanted to try and use some of that allotment produce and to, to feed some of the meals um, in hospitality. It's something that we've managed to do um, last year on a smaller scale and it just kind of planted the seed really to want to be able to do it moving forward um, on a larger scale. We've been here a good while now. A lot of weeding, a lot of turning over. And when we can, we do a lot of planting. The potatoes hopefully are looking good, the garlic's looking good and the onions are looking good so we've got to come up with a little plan of, of what we're going to do with them. Try and reduce the wastes, try and use every single piece of the vegetables and the fruits and stuff that the guys are growing. So we'll sit with the team, we'll decide what we're going to do with it, how we're going to use all of the produce that they've given us and then put it onto the menu. It helps both initiatives, it's ultra locally sourced. From a carbon footprint perspective it's, it's nearly zero so it's helping obviously from our mental health side and participants but then also really hits from our sustainability perspective as well. It makes you feel good that you're doing something good for other people as well. With Head for Health because, because you're actually doing something physical and you can see an end product to it and it's going to good use and doing something I think that, that makes it even better. Looking forward to the 24 season growing season we're going to do some chilli peppers, we're going to do more potatoes, we're looking at some fruits, so some raspberries, some strawberries, uh, hopefully some pumpkins for Halloween, we're sort of planning up for at least 12 months in advance at the moment. The aim then moving forward is that we might tie in some like DIY crafts, build your own bug hotels, bird boxes so we can continue to kind of grow the sustainability kind of message really at the allotment. I just love doing it, it's something I definitely recommend for everybody to do.